Today, we discuss the signs that you're moving too slow for her. Don't be a slow Joe. You may be getting so complacent in your relationship that you may not be noticing the signs that your woman is showing that you're moving too slow for her. Let's face it guys, there comes a time in your life where you know whether you're actually going to marry the woman you're with or not, right? If you'll be honest with yourself, you probably knew that from the get-go, from the day you set eyes on her. However, let me give you the benefit of the doubt and say you have all good intentions for this woman, but for some reason you simply aren't ready or able to move the relationship at the pace that will satisfy her. That's okay too, I got you today. Welcome back, my name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. So in the world of romance, pacing can be everything. It's about understanding, mutual respect and recognizing when the rhythm may be a tad off kilter. For some, pacing might not be an issue, yet for others, striking that perfect balance can be tricky. This becomes particularly true when one partner feels the relationship isn't moving at the right speed. So how do you discern the signs you're moving too slow for her? And what can you do to recalibrate your relationship's tempo if you must? Let's dive into this. Let's start with you, okay? Number one, the fear of losing her. What's going on? Are you anxious in recent times? Do you feel paranoid in your relationship? Like she's gonna leave you soon? If you notice yourself becoming anxious or overly clingy due to the fear of losing her, it could be because, well, basically you can sense that she's unhappy with the pace of your relationship. Let me ask you, I mean, what's really holding you back from taking the relationship to the next level? Are you simply not ready? Are you unsure or uncertain about things that she does? Maybe it's time to face the problem head on because if your woman starts to feel like you're wasting her time or are genuinely uninterested or unserious about her, you'll lose her very quickly. Yep, she might even begin to see other men behind your back. I do understand that this also depends on the stage of life you're in, right? If you're still in school or not quite where you want to be, all you have to do in this situation will be to demonstrate that you're committed to the relationship and you're actually working on that future and with her in mind, right? A good woman will understand. Number two, when she starts comparing your relationship with other couples, right? The comparison game, it's so common. When she sees other couples making moves, whether it's their surprise proposal or a well thought out gift, there's that longing look in her eyes, right? She might be craving similar moments with you. If your partner frequently compares your relationship to others and expresses a desire for maybe more progress overtly or even covertly, right? It could be a sign that she feels the relationship is moving too slow. So ask yourself this honest question. Has your relationship been stuck in the same phase for an extended period of time? It might be an indicator that you're moving too slow. Let me give you an example. Perhaps you guys have been dating for a year, right? Yet she still hasn't met the most important people to you. People like your close friends, your family, right? It's just a matter of time before she calls you unserious to your face or walks away from you. Watch out for signs of frustration or impatience from her. Or does she always bring up the conversation about how your circle of friends are all getting married? If she's dropping hints about where she thought the relationship would be by now or comparing your relationship's pace um, to that of others, it's a clear sign you might be moving too slowly for her. Remember that time she paused at the jewelry store or replayed that movie proposal scene, those weren't random moments, they were hints. Number three, infrequent communication. So a primary indicator is a significant drop in the frequency of, and maybe the depth of your conversations and communication in general, right? If she's pulling back, limiting personal stories and things that happen to her, or avoiding deeper topics with you, it could hint at a need for a quicker pace in a relationship, so pay attention. A healthy relationship requires consistent communication. If you notice that your partner is becoming distant or you're not communicating as often, it could be a sign that you need to step up the pace and show a little more interest. Don't dismiss this important point, unless of course, you don't mind losing her to someone else. Now, if your partner seems guarded or hesitant, to open up. It might be because the relationship is moving too slow for her comfort. Number four, she's becoming more independent. Now, independence is an important part of personal growth and there's nothing wrong with a woman being independent. However, if you notice that she's 
taking more solo trips, spending more time away. It could be a sign that she's trying to fill in the gaps in the relationship that are not being met by you, right? Healthy relationships thrive when partners engage in activities together. If you're not spending quality time doing things that you both enjoy, it could be a sign that the relationship is not on the same page. It's important to communicate with your partner about your needs, expectations in the relationship. If you're feeling like she's pulling away, talk to her about it. You know, it's possible that she's simply trying to find her own space and time, but it's also possible that she's maybe unhappy in that relationship. If you're both committed to the relationship, you should be able to find a way to compromise and meet each other's needs, right? It's important to remember that relationships are a two-way street. Both partners need to be willing to put in an effort to make it work. I'll give you more ways to deal with the situation later in the video. But for now, let's move on to number five. When friends' opinions begin to matter more, there is a problem. Mm -hmm. It might indicate that you're moving too slow. Now, while friends' perspectives are always crucial, they shouldn't dictate your relationship's direction. If she's increasingly reliant on her friend's opinions about your relationship, it could be an indication that she's seeking validations for her feeling of stagnation in the relationship. Let's highlight the friend's timeline talk. I mean, if her friends are planning futures, moving in together or getting engaged, and she seems anxious afterwards, she might feel the pressure of an uncertain future, right? She doesn't know what's going on, where this is heading. Pay attention to the subtle hints, the comments her friends make in your presence. There, you know, there are lots of gold nuggets in there. You'll be surprised at what you'll actually hear. Number six, a decrease in physical intimacy. And this is a no brainer, right? Now, physical intimacy, of course, is a barometer for many relationships. If there's a decline or sense of routine setting in, it might be reflecting her feelings about the overall pace of the relationship. Physical intimacy is an important aspect of romantic relationships. If your partner is hesitant or avoids intimate moments, it might be worth evaluating if things are moving too slow for her comfort. She most likely is beginning to believe that giving you full access to her body is unbeneficial to her in any way. I mean, I hear guys say this all the time. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free, right? Women are listening and we're paying attention too. She'll begin to hold off some of the goodies to give you subtle pressure to commit more and get more skin in the game. Now, before I jump into the solutions, perhaps you need a little help. Yes, you do. Have you heard of what we call joy mode? Well, joy mode is here to stay and to save the day. Joy mode sexual performance boosters like a pre-workout, but for sex. Wouldn't you rather take a supplement designed to spice things up naturally rather than a prescription drug that can have harmful effects down the road? All you have to do is to consume it anywhere between 45 minutes to four hours prior to sexual activity. You'll notice better blood flow, um, better erection quality, firmness, increased sexual energy and drive. If you want to spice things up in the bedroom and boost your sexual performance and do it naturally without prescription drugs, Joy Mode is your best bet. And because you're such a sport and you watch this channel, I'm gonna give you 20% off your first order. Just log on to usejoymode.com forward slash Jessica OS or put Jessica OS in at checkout and you'll get your 20% off. All right, let's get back to the video. So solutions. If you're actually guilty of any of the things I mentioned earlier, just know that recognizing the signs is just the beginning. Addressing them requires understanding. It requires empathy, proactive steps on your part. And I'm gonna give you some recommendations to reinvigorate the pace of the relationship. The first thing I wanna do is to open up lines of communication. It's very important. She's feeling unheard on so many levels, right? Start by discussing her feelings and concerns. Communication is a cornerstone for any robust relationship. And by actively seeking her perspective, you show care, you show consideration and willingness to adjust, right? Express your interests or your intentions clearly. Sometimes the feeling of moving too slow stems from ambiguity about the relationship's future. She doesn't know what's going on, right? So expressing your intentions and discussing future plans can bring clarity, can bring reassurance. And sometimes that's all she needs. Number two, plan more shared experiences together. Creating memories can rejuvenate the relationship's energy. It doesn't have to be elaborate trips, right? Simple activities like cooking together, taking walks can reignite the spark. Number three, rekindle physical intimacy. So focus on reigniting the passion, whether it's setting aside specific date nights, exploring new activities, or just spending quality time cuddling. Reestablishing physical intimacy can bolster emotional closeness. 
And perhaps finally, you want to seek counseling or relationship coaching, right? If you find it challenging to navigate uh, the pacing issues on your own, consider having a private one-on-one -on -one session with me. You know, just log on to patreon.com forward slash Jessica OS, sign up as a VVIP, and I'll be more than happy to offer invaluable insights, techniques, exercises to help you both you know, align better. In conclusion, remember this, that every relationship has its own unique rhythm, okay? But recognizing when your pace might be lagging is important. It's not about rushing or forcing progress, but it's more about ensuring both of you are on the same page, feeling valued and moving forward together. By staying attuned to the signs and proactively addressing them, you can foster a relationship that thrives on understanding and shared aspirations. If this video resonates with you, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more of this kind of content, and I'll be more than happy to deliver it. My name is Jessica. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.